Okay, my friends. So technically, we can see that we've implemented most of the features we want in our main stack app. So what we need to do next is to deploy. Now, when I started building out this project, I planned that I was going to deploy on Heroku. But before the end of my recording the entire course, Heroku announced that in a couple of months, they were going to be canceling their free plan or their free tier. So I had to re-strategize and look for an alternative that we could use to deploy our application. Now, that alternative is render. So it's render.com, R-E-N-D-E-R. And that's what we're going to use first. Now, for the sake of other people that may want to use Heroku for their actually live app, maybe they even want to pay for it for maybe like a startup app they're building. I'm also going to show you how you can deploy to Heroku. But of course, by the time Heroku cancels their free tier, then you will not be able to, you know, implement except you pay. Okay, so hopefully that's out of the way. So now let's go ahead and deploy. So I'll close this guy up. Now, before we deploy, eh, we need to prepare the back end or we need to optimize the app. If there are any changes we need to make, one of those changes is in our cores. This cores, eh, the function of this cores um package is to remove any friction that we have when we are trying to access resources from our front end to the back end so but technically we are not actually maximizing this course here because as it is now anybody can any url can make a request to our back end and get the resources that are here so what you want is you want to be able to tell this course you want to give it an argument and say that Please only accept um, HTTP request from this front end URL. That's what we want to do now. So inside of this uh, parenthesis, I'm going to open this up and then I'll say I'll add a property origin. And if I wanted to add maybe just a single URL, I'll just add it here. So maybe something like maybe google.com, you know, but because I want to add more than one URL, then I can just do like this, add an array, and inside that array, uh, oh, okay, I think I made a mistake here. Sorry, let me just correct that. Let me take that back. Yeah, so this um, course, this parenthesis here, we're supposed to first open an object. So parenthesis, then we can now specify the origin. Okay, so that's the mistake. All right, so now add your square brackets and then you can specify any number of URL. For example, currently we are accessing the back end from localhost 3000. So if I grab this localhost 3000, I'll just add it here. All right, so now it knows that any request that comes from localhost 3000 is allowed. The next thing is that we want to specify the URL, the cloud URL that we, you know, are going to make requests from that's render so currently this i have deployed to render so this is the previous app i built mentax dot on render dot com so what i'm going to do here is i'll just copy this url and then i'll just come here sorry i'll come here and then i'll paste that in now of course i'm going to modify this because for this particular deploy i'm going to make it mentask hyphen app dot on render dot com okay so that's out of the way now the next thing we need to do is we need to push this to github because it's from github that render is going to fetch um our code and then deploy it on their platform so first off let's go ahead and save and then we're going to push to github now for us to push to github there's one thing you need to first understand is the structure of our folder so we have one big folder main task app inside that folder we now created this back end right the back end is where we now placed all of our back end resources and all of that and then inside this main task app we now created the front end folder but technically everything is inside this big uh, folder named main task app however when we want to deploy to render we are going to deploy the front end separate and the back end separate so they need to be in two github repositories so what that means is that we'll first deploy the front end, then we'll now deploy the back end to GitHub. So now let's start with the front end. To make it easier, I would, let me minimize this guy and then I'll open this um, main course project. Let me bring that in here. 
and this is where we are main task app open the main task app great and now this front end folder i will open it separately in its own visual studio code so i right click and then i'll say open with uh, code and then it should just open in visual studio code so let's do that quickly aha so you see the front end folder is open for our main task app now let's make sure that it's initialized with git so i'll just use this um source control here and as you can see it has not been initialized with git so the first thing you want to do is you want to initialize this your front end folder let me close this guy up so i don't know why it's taking time to show me this initialized repository let me just give it a few seconds so it appears that we have just a very tiny small problem with this setup and that's because we've already initialized git in the parent folder so we are not going to be able to initialize git here in fact if you click here you will see that it's picking up the changes that originated from the parent folder so what we need to do is we need to open up that um, main task app and you see this dot git file here we're going to delete it now let me actually point out that if you delete this git file then all the commits and all the branches you've created before you're going to lose them okay so if you've created commits and branches and stuff while we were building you're going to lose it so you know what i did first off i uploaded everything to github all right so let me show you what i'm talking about uh somewhere here i okay yeah so this is where i first uploaded everything to github so if you click here on my branches you see that i have all you know the branches that i created while i was building out the project so I, and i did it for you so that you can follow the course okay so now i'm good enough i'm good to go to delete this dot git file because i already have all my branches and my commits stored i'll right click here and then i'll just delete this dot git file by doing that it will give me the option to now create a new um to initialize this front end part of the project all right so let's come here to the front end part now you see here we now get the option to initialize repository so i'm just going to go ahead and initialize this repository and okay great now let's just make a comment so these are everything everything with all all the files we need to commit these are um, they are right here so i'm just going to come here and see initial commits and i hope you realize that all these problems we are going through is because when we started building out this project we said we're going to host it on heroku that's why we structured it you know the way it is great so now we've initialized this project now let's head over to github and i'm just going to create a new repository so let me just click on this guy here and then i'll see new repository i'll call that repository main hyphen task then i'll add app now i want you know there's going to be a front end at the back end so this is going to be the front end so let's go ahead and create this one create repository all right so while i'm here i think i'll just create for the back end as well so let me just do this in a new tab and then i'll just create for the back end so this is going to be main task app and then i'll just add back end as okay then i'll go ahead and say create repository so and at least now i know i've sorted out the creating creation of the repository for both the front end and the back end great so now for the front end i'm just going to copy this option here that says pushing an existing repository from a command line so we already have a local repository now just copy this click this guy here to copy so it's going to copy these three commands and what we need to do is to come back here so let me just expand this guy so we have space and then i'll just right click to paste in those three commands so right click and it's just going to paste everything at once then hit enter right so i'll hit enter and then it will just upload everything to github all right so let's just give it a couple of seconds so you see it's uploading All right, so it has finished uploading so what i want to do is i want to confirm that it actually uploaded successfully so you just refresh this front end page in our github and you should see 
that we now have it here great so we have everything in our front end now we're just going to do the same for the back end now for the back end is a little bit different from you know the front end setup so let me minimize this front end setup and then i'll just um let me see yeah so i'll just open the full main task app you know the full main task app contains both the front end and the back end now what we want to do is in this git ignore file we want to add this front end folder we don't want to push it to the back end repository so in this git ignore file here in our root i'm just going to come down here and say you know what let me just put it after this node modules so after the node modules i'll just say forward slash front end okay so what what this means is that we don't want this front end to be pushed to our um back end repository okay so remember we are separating the two part of the application so just go ahead and save and then i'll just come here and initialize this repository so this is for the back end now go ahead and initialize for the back end okay so for the back end i'm just going to say initial commit as well so you see these are all the uh let's see yeah task controller yeah so this is everything we want to add so here i'll just say initial commit t i a l commit and then i'll just commit that so you can either click on this commit here or press control and enter to just create your commit now that we have created a repository for our back end and we're not uploading the front end to the back end folder now let's just come here and i'll expand this guy so you see this is for the front end and this repository which is currently empty is for the back end so just scroll down and copy click this button to copy these three commands and then let's come back to our visual studio code now i'll just expand this up so that we can see everything and then you know what let me clear aha so now i'll just right click and then it will just paste all the commands then i'll hit enter now the three commands will run one after the other and then the back end will also be uploaded to the back end repository that we created on github so you see it has finished uploading now if you minimize this guy and then let's just expand the browser i will refresh this back end repository here now you see that we now have voila so you see we now have the back end part of our application notice that we don't have the front end folder that is because we added it to our git ignore so let me ex bring this guy down see we added it to our git ignore so the front end is not pushed to the back end repository so now we've been successfully able to you know separate the two parts of our app into both the front end and the back end the next thing we're going to do now is to now host it on render all right see you in the next video